part three then from the 2018 SQA Higher Maths Paper 1. Three mark question here for evaluating a derivative. The derivative of a trigonometrical function. And notice it's a function of a function. There'll be the chain rule here. But all the same, this question actually seems a bit of a gift for three marks because there's not an awful lot to do. As long as you differentiate. Now, cos coefficient makes no difference. Cos goes to the negative of sine, so don't forget that negative there. But it's not just operating on x, it's operating on 2x. So yes, well that will stay 2x. You now need to multiply it all by the inner derivative, that's what forms the chain. And the inner derivative, the derivative of 2x is 2, which means taking that to the front makes negative 6 sine 2x. And you're getting two marks for that. One for getting negative 3 sine, and the other apparently is just for saying times 2 rather than tidying it up. But I think I'll tidy it up. Although it was there, but I think it should have gone there. So that when you have to evaluate this at pi upon 6, it means you've got negative 6 sine 2 times pi upon 6. Now it's paper 1, so this is one of the ones you should know. Now 2 times pi upon 6 means it's pi upon, cancel it down, pi upon 3. Now you either remember that yourself, or you just remember pi upon 3 is the same as 60 degrees. And then you think, well what's 60 degrees then? Because the one you should always remember without resorting to triangles is the sine 30. If you know sine 30 is a half, then it means sine 60 isn't, so it must be the other one. And if sine 30 is a half, it means cos 30 isn't, it must be the other one, and so on. And the other one is root 3 upon 2. So multiplying that out, 2 cancels into that 3 times, so it's negative 3 root 3 for the last mark.